Um, the first bait that I normally do is a type of a chocker bait. It's similar to the normal chocker blob bait. Um, just cut <coughs> rings in your chocker like this. Take all the guts out. And the main thing of the guts, you must never throw the guts away. Eh? The guts are one of the most important things of the old chocker. Okay, so you must put it aside and you can use it, especially the black ink of the chocker. Okay, then you will see you've got a ring at the end of the day. You just cut that ring. You will see in the ring you've got a little place where it's a little bit thinner. There, you just, you just cut it over there. Take the skin off. So if you think it's soft enough, then you must carry on. After you smash the chocker, you get it, you will see it almost fall apart. You get a nice thin, little thin strip like this. And what you do then is, you will start, there's actually two ways to do it. What you can do, the first way is you can put your hook already next to your bait car carrier. And you can actually come and you can just wrap the chocker all around it. Okay, that's the one way to do it. Um, if you want a little bit bigger bait, you can take this and you can just, you take the hook completely out. You take the hook and you put it over there. You start building your bait. You can just turn it around your bait carrier like this. Okay, and you turn it to the bottom and you turn it back again to the top. What you do then is you take some ghost cotton. Okay, we actually don't use it ghost cotton anymore. We use this uh, knitting elastic, is actually the correct name for it. It's like a type of a rubber band that's actually latex. nice and thin. Latex cotton. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so then you, you just wrap it here on the top. Just on top of that bead on the bait carrier, just wrap it there, a few wraps there, you take, take it down, one, two, not a lot of wraps in the middle of this, the middle section of the chalk on, and here at the bottom, you'll see the bead is still open in the, in the bottom, you just go around that thing there and on that bead, and just lock it in place there, you will see actually close the hook, but you can take your fingers and you can just open it up again, and you can just make it nice and tightly there, just be careful not to take the wraps, over the hook. You must always feel where the hook is because if the wraps are going over the hook, if you clip it on that thing, it tends to hook on the other hook on the, on the sinker side. Okay, so just make it like this. Okay, and you end it off. You will take your hook and you will just insert it in your bait, <coughs> in your bait like this. Okay, you just put it through. Just pull that whole line a little bit through till that little bead is locking against that little eye of your bait carrier. Okay. At the end of the day, you sit with the bait, with the hook, and it's actually sitting like this, and it's actually nice and proud. You also see the hook is actually sitting a little bit higher in the bait. Okay, and what you happen in the end, you will take it like this, you will find that uh, there's the hook. You put that hook in there, in that small hook there. Yes, and if you cast it, this is how your bait is looking that you're going to cast.